Okay, I have 515. I'll call the meeting to order. Uh, Sarah, did you want to take attendance or do you, do you have it? Uh, there's only three that I haven't seen anything from. So Alderperson Betty Ackley, are you online at all? No. Uh, Tom Mitchell, are you online? No. And Cole Phillips? All right, everyone else is accounted for. Okay, I just want to remind everyone that's in the chamber, if you need to speak tonight, go to the middle microphone. With that, we'll, I'll call the meeting to order and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the flag of the United States of America, to the flag of the United States of America, to the flag of the United States of America, Thank you. Okay, is there has there been any correspondence, Sarah, other than what you sent out to everyone? Yeah, just that um, on on September twenty eighth, I sent an email to everybody with a copy of the letter from uh, Mayor Zeger from Esslingen, and he was writing that letter. In a, Patrick, can you please put yourself on mute? <laughs> And he was responding to um, a letter from Mayor Vanderstein. So hopefully everyone got a chance to look at that uh, letter that I emailed out. And that's the only thing that I have. Okay. Thank you. Um, okay. We asked for approval minutes of July 9th, uh, 2020, which uh, Sarah had put put on the uh, the website and council docs. Okay. Henry, motion to approve or a second? Carolyn, second. All in favor? Opposed? Okay. Minutes. Thing. Okay. Possible donation of international coins from Shoreline Metro. I'll turn this over to Sarah. Okay. So uh, Derek from Shoreline Metro has offered to donate their supply of international coins that they have accumulated. He estimates that there's about $50 worth of Canadian coins and about 100 or so international coins of varying value. So I guess this is open to discussion in terms of if we're interested in taking this donation, if there's any thought as to what we may do with international coins, totally open-ended. Okay. Okay, got it. Any, any thoughts? Is it something we would cash in and then make a donation somewhere, take it for us, or just make a collection of them? So any thoughts from homebound or here? Either that or we take them as a donation and keep them and then decide in the future too. So that could be an, another option. Uh, this is Patrick, I don't see why we wouldn't take them. We could always turn them in uh, to any bank and there are certain banks will take the coins and turn them into American cash if we need or whatever we need. Okay, so you wanna make a motion, Patrick? I, would say, um, I will make a motion that we uh, accept the donation from the Metro line of the uh, Canadian and foreign coins that they have collected, and maybe we can use them for something in the future. Okay. Is there a second? Anna? Okay. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, six by saying aye. 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 Okay. Any no's? Okay, motion carried. Thank you, Sarah. Mm -hmm. So um, I think I got a piece of paper at home yet. I'll send a thank you to Derek. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. Um, it looks like with you, if you saw the letter from the mayor, um, Seeger, that he suggested that we look at a trip in May or sometime in 2022. And so it's open for discussion to see if we want to start planning for for that time. I know it's a ways off, but yet we don't know what the situation is. But uh, you know, we we we've planned trips two years ahead already in the past. So so what are we thinking about uh, taking up the offer to visit in in probably May of 2022? I think he suggested May in there as a possibility. Any thoughts, Mike? Mayor Mike? Turn on the. You you should be on. 
No, there it is. There we go. Well, okay. you know, Mayor Zeger uh, generously uh, allowed us to, to shift our trip back. I mean, right now, you can't travel back and forth anyhow. We don't know what the situation is going to be. And this is at a time when it's really hard to get people interested in go flying anywhere. So I hope that this will give us enough time that, um, you know, we'll get our vaccines and things will get back to normal. And we can hopefully uh, get a robust delegation to make the trip over there. Any other comments? So uh, d I'm open to making that a formal uh, motion to plan a trip for then, or we can just keep it on the table and uh, as we move forward, or to accept the, maybe to accept the invitation. Anyone? I make a motion that we accept the uh, invitation. Okay, Patrick made the motion to accept the invitation. Is there a second? Second. Okay, got a second here. Okay, um, any continued discussion on this? Oh, Carolyn? <clears throat> Rich, can you, can you, Rich? Hold on, you your mic's your mic? not on, hold on. Rich, you gotta turn your mic on. Up on top, middle. Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh, now it's off again. Carolyn, can you pull it down? Sure. There you go. Um, but we're gonna proceed with this. I don't think we can really do anything until probably April or May of 2021. And that's when that subcommittee could probably um, contact Discovery and see what we can do. But hopefully nope. the curve won't come. Yeah, the virus will be the COVID virus will be um, hopefully slowing down. Waning. Yeah, maybe we could just I mean give them a heads up and say put this on your you know in your memory bank that when things open up we'll we'll um, be contacting you. So any, any, yeah. other com any other comments or discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion to accept the invitation to, from Mayor Sigur and Esslingen for May of 2022, signify saying aye. 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 Okay, any opposed at this time? Okay, motion carried. So, um, is this something we can draft a, mo a letter or note to them saying we'll accept their invitation pending life? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, next thing on the agenda, it's kind of an idea that I came up with. You know, we're kind of in a lull right now, and we are the Mayor's International uh, Committee, and I know we promote, you know, our Essingen partners and <laughs> Sabami, but I thought it'd be kind of neat to kind of highlight the other organizations in the city that have international relationships and put it on our website or if we want to put it in the city newsletter or just kind of promote them and use this time as our committee because we don't have a lot of, you know, the only time we get any really press is right before, we, when we come back from a trip. And I like to see this as a more of an ongoing thing that we're promoting. Like I know Mayor Mike, you have a good relationship with some of the mayors in Canada through your organization. That's something in Ohio. I know one of the churches has had a long 20 year relationship with El Salvador. They support students, they visit. Um, so now I'm not talking about companies or, or businesses. I'm talking more about, you know, organization, churches, uh, whatever, you know, to that. And I thought maybe we could use that to kind of promote that. So I'm throwing that out as an idea. I mean, I'd certainly chair it and it would come through me and I talked to Sarah. We do have our website that, uh, I'm not website, uh, Facebook, our Facebook page, page yeah. that from Essingen Fest that turn over to Mayor's International Committee. So this, you know, this will keep our name in the front of things. And then when we have our next fundraising, maybe more people will know who's doing this. Because we do, you know, I don't know about you, but it's like people to people and mayors are asking many of the said, Oh, you're on that. What do they do? And maybe this is a way to keep them out there. What do we do? You know, 
So what are your thoughts on that? Rich, do you know, is there any type of resource that lists or a, a list of all of the organizations that do have international ties? I don't know if there is, but I certainly, I might be able to go to the chamber and see, they might have that information. Because there's a lot of groups that are part of the chamber, like, you know, nonprofits and stuff already that, that are part. So I'll contact them and check that out. See if they have a listing of those who have partnerships. You know, I know Rotary May and International may have, I mean, uh, Optimist, they may have organizations and stuff like that. Um, I know we as Kiwanis, we do, so I think that's, you know, just something to promote what, that we're not just, that Sheboygan has more tentacles out in the world than a lot of people think we do. So, so can I get a thumbs up on that? So we're going for a thumbs up instead of a motion? Make a motion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll just, we'll do it. I'll bring back, maybe I'll show an example. I mean, we'll put something in and and do it next month, and if we want to formalize something along the way, we can, so. Okay, thanks. Um, we have two foreign student exchange students that are here, and we need some way to get gift bags to them, right, Sarah? Yes, so I reached out to the area high schools that I normally reach out to every year with regard to when we're planning our um, <coughs> high school exchange student dinner, and just to see, does anybody have any foreign exchange students? Well. Um, South and Christian do not. North High has one. Um, his name is Felix, and he's from Germany. And Lutheran has one. His name is uh, Yunho Park. He's from South Korea, and he's in a continuing uh, exchange program because he was also here in 2019 and 2018, although he was not able to go to either one of our dinners those years because he had a schedule conflict with uh, a soccer banquet that happened at the same time. So he, he did receive the gift bags that we assembled. So he got the same thing that everyone got in previous years. Um, his host family came to pick it up from City Hall. So if we were to consider putting together some sort of gift bag or something for uh, Yunho and for Felix, we might want to change it up a little bit because Yunho has received what we did mm -hmm. in the past. It'd be nice if we could uh, maybe uh, see if they might be able to coincide giving them those gifts with maybe a future meeting of our yeah. group. And uh, and Felix is the uh, exchange student from es Esslingen. Right. That's what I that's what I thought, Mike. Mm -hmm. Maybe at their next meeting because we would have had it in November, anyways. So, so thoughts on that. Just two. Henry? Can you, can you speak in the... Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I was just going to... Uh, you know, we spend the mon uh, quite a bit of money when we do that uh, pizza dinner and everything. Uh, what would you think if uh, the chair, uh, the mayor, uh, would take those students out for a dinner or something? Would that be uh, something... Nope. No, no, I don't, I don't nope. think that's a good idea. <laughs> nope. Nope. We could, we could purchase some um, pizza coupons for them so they could go on their own. Yep. Yeah, I mean, we, we have, we have the funds available right. to kind of do whatever we want. So mm -hmm. I guess it would be a matter of if there was someone in specific who would be interested in kind of spearheading, just put it together, make it happen. I just have a question. What kinds of things have been put in the gift baskets in past years, just to get a sense of how we might think differently about that this year? Well, we have um, T-shirts, uh, sunglasses, um, water bottles, um, You're all, all city logo yeah, all, items. all city logo items essentially, and they're they're in a a canvas city bag. So, you know, we were handing out what twenty or so of them at a time. So it wasn't a ton of stuff. But now we only have two people. So, 
we can kind of maybe ramp it up a bit and make it a little nicer. Yeah. Okay. We could put a couple of Subami birds in there. I mean, and I'm not saying it's oh. to be funny, but I mean, because it is part of our other sister city to show that. Yeah. Oh, the the printed the three D yeah. printed cranes. Yeah, the yeah. cranes. Yeah. I forgot what they were. I know they were yeah. birds. So. The cranes. The cranes. The cranes. Yeah. Mm. What's that? Well, that, that's kind of why I'm throwing it out here that maybe someone could just opt to take the lead on this and just make it happen. That's kind of why I'm throwing this, this out here. I don't know that our group has to thoroughly discuss every single no. little thing. Just make someone kind of the lead on this project and make it happen. Is there a... Would there be a, um, a suggested um, cost limit? I know some of the gifts are already here, but, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, we've still got all those logo items. Right. Um, but again, you know, Yunho has already received those things, and right. maybe those things we would give to Felix, but okay. maybe whatever the other things are that are, are maybe a little okay. bit Is there anyone that, more uh, value. Anyone out there or in here that would be willing to head that up? Well, first of all, should we do it? Yes. Okay, we should do it. Now we need someone to head it up. Well, I guess it dies from a lack of interest, so. So, pardon? Sarah, aren't most of the items here? Well, if we're just talking about the logo items, yes. But I think, as we were saying, we want to kind of go above and beyond because okay. there's only two people. They're, you know, we're not having a, a dinner yeah. with all the stuff. And that's why it really could be a person can take this and make this as much out of this as they want to. Yeah, I don't think it should be a dead item. I just, I'm not sure what we should all put in there besides the city items and some pizza certificates. I'm not sure. I think I'd have to think about that. Maybe some other folks could maybe email you too if they think of something else. Well, that's why I'm saying I think one person should take the lead on it, and I'm not volunteering to do that. Right. One person should take the lead on that, and I will happily supply the logo items, but it's the whole concept of the what else. Yeah, I'm not real creative. I don't have a good imagination, so <laughs> I'm probably not the right one. I don't think it's got anything to do with imagination. It's well, just someone know, collect it. Kind of it's needs someone to collect the items and put to, put together the gift bags. Yeah. Anything that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. So we're going to go forward with the the gift bags and. Uh, okay. So Annie will take the lead. I will certainly help you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And then I will extend an invitation to those to to attend our <clears throat> November meeting to receive them. Okay. Yep. And if that's not doable, then I guess we'll figure something else out. But that'll that'll be what I'll do. Right. Okay. Thank you. Um, this has been on the agenda before. Um, now that we know that we will be tr attempting to go to Essingen, we did not have our Essingen Fest this year. We didn't have many other opportunities. Um, we thought about having a brat fry, which would have been coming this, and Essingen Fest is coming Sunday, which we're not having. So, our, we, I haven't heard much other than from Mark and Shar you know, in the past about the things that we could do. Um, I think we, sh you know, we got to start thinking about some kind of fundraising, um, whether it's an online auction. I'm just throwing these out. I know others, fi um, Nonprofits are starting to do online activities. Um, you know, our, we do have a, a, an older group here, and I know a lot of us don't want to necessarily do a person-to-person -person brat fry um, because of that, but um, I'm not looking for complete answers, but I think we need to start thinking about some other fundraising options. And got any thoughts out there? Patrick, you're pretty smart in this area. 
<laughs> You're the only one that's got the video on, so that's why I picked on you. <laughs> give give Pat some tickets; he can sell them. They don't. They have to share their video so you guys can see each other. <clears throat> Off the top of my head, I do not have any great okay. ideas. Um, I think we need to get through this mess that we're in right now, and yep. hopefully we can figure something out. Okay. Um, maybe we do something early spring instead of, you know, brought fry in spring instead of in fall to raise some money or, you know, uh, I think a brat fry is an easy way to make money. Uh, I don't think an online auction, I don't know what we would have to sell. <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, Rich, when does People to People usually have their brat fry? That's March? In March, yeah. Okay. And we haven't met, so I don't know what our future of our brat fry is. Um, this year, it's a lot going to depend on, you know, everything else, so. Hi, I have a Hi, couple of ideas. Mark, uh, oh. go, go ahead, Mark. I, I, you know, one of the reasons we're not at the meeting is we're social distancing. And we're going to continue to social distance until probably Memorial Day weekend, more than likely. Um, I don't see anything happening anywhere in the near future. First of all, about a third of the people will refuse to get a vaccination anyway. So this ain't going to go away anytime soon. I think if you want to do something online, fine. If you want to do something in person, I'm not interested. We've given up. Not until May. <laughs> yeah, not until May. May or June. That's all you if have to we say. would do something. Yeah. Okay, well, that, you know, that's very legitimate, and I have some of the same feelings, but, Ann? Yeah, I definitely share concerns about needing to social distance for a while from now as well. Um, and so some of the ideas that come up in my mind that are things that maybe we could do to allow people to still socially distance are some kind of, like, drive-through um, type um, way to show the arts, like, you know, there are a lot of great artists and musicians and things like that here in Sheboygan, and so we could have... I don't know where we would do this, but have something like um, have different art pieces in a place a little bit maybe similar to, to the um, holiday lights in um, Evergreen Park where, you know, you go and you drive through and you can go with your family in your vehicle, but you really don't need to leave your vehicle to enjoy the experience. So maybe there's some kind of um, some other kind of arts thing that we could do that would highlight people's international heritage or something, you know, like maybe there are... Um, I don't know, paintings or, you know, other kinds of like visual arts that people would like to share that might reflect something international or that was inspired by something that's internationally related um, that we could do in some kind of similar way where maybe we could um, actually even Evergreen Park, maybe in a different time of year than when the, the light show is or, you know, some, some spot where that's easy to drive through and drive through slowly. Uh, maybe we could set something up so that people can you know, still socially distance and in their vehicles, but still experience something. So I don't mm -hmm. know what that would look like, but um, I just, I do think there are some opportunities that we could, where we could be creative in this kind of way um, to still kind of keep something international in, but also, you know, ask for donations on the entrance or something like that to fundraise a little bit um, and also to keep spirits up in these difficult times. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I think, you know, just, you know, if you have ideas, send them to me or to Sarah, she'll get them to me and and think about that. And I think part of the reason I wanted to do that, promoting other organizations that have interest relationships, you know, maybe we can get a little partnership or, or something like that. And maybe we can get some ideas off of them. On, on and as, as Annie was talking, that kind of got me thinking about how we can have the, the international aspect to something that would be you know, people staying in their car and driving around, perhaps a scavenger hunt type of thing. There's lots of landmarks around the area that we could try to get people like, hey, go out to this spot, like Esslingen Park, go there and learn about whatever. And if that's just an awareness campaign or if we can somehow tie a monetary mm -hmm. thing to it, that part we'd have to figure right. out, but. Yeah. I, I did that with my students at uh, Teller Academy. I had them a city 
scavenger hunt, so I had them running all over town to figure out the old landmarks. So that is very doable. Yeah, good yeah. idea. Okay, thanks. Okay, well, just keep them coming. I mean, uh, you know, we gotta. You know, I know this is a tough time, but we gotta. I, I just don't want to see this commission committee kind of fade away. We we got stuff to do. So, okay, and the last one is Sabami's sister relationship. Um, we were waiting for a letter to be drafted, and um, I've not seen it yet, and I have a difficult time getting in contact with the person who who is going to do it. So therefore, that keeps kind of on a back burner. The only other thing, if we could find someone else who does understand and know Japanese and could maybe draft something for us. So. Any other business that come before this committee? Hearing none, I will entertain a motion for adjournment. Okay, Henry, to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Okay, we got four seconds. Very good. <laughs> so, okay, all in favor, signify by aye. Aye. Any aye. opposition? Aye. Aye. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, first, first Thursday in November is our next meeting, and hopefully we can have either present just for a little bit our two foreign students from in Sheboygan. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.